guys, my name is April Eileen and I am filming a video for Fiona Bloom for the Efficacy Sessions. And I'm hanging out in the Hamptons in New York. It's my first time being here. I am from New Brunswick, Canada and I've got some questions to answer for y'all. What is the biggest highlight of your career so far? The highlight for my career would be going to the south of France to Madame and showcasing as the first New Brunswick artist and getting to meet all these incredible people from all over the globe, uh, which inspired me to come back home and create new music and um, you know, keep being a better artist and playing more songs and getting out there. So. I'm really wondering, um, who would you be uh, wishing at this moment to collaborate with? You be me. Um, oh my goodness. I would say there's two artists. Um, I love Lady Gaga. I love how she can create so many dynamic facets of who she is and yet she can still sit behind a piano and write an amazing song and rock it and sing. And the other person um, would be The Weeknd. Uh, his vocals, his sexiness, his production style, the quality, the tonality of his voice. I think uh, I have a bit of a similar um, tone in my vocals and we could make a really good song. <laughs> Come on, Abel. <laughs> At what point in your um, trajectory as an artist did you um, know that you wanted to become one? Uh, from a very young age, I wanted to help animals or be a musician or maybe do both. Maybe I can do both now, which would be great. Um, when I was 16, Come here, Max. Come hang out with me. Come up here. Come hang out. I don't know if he wants to come and visit. Um, when I was 16, I went to the Ukraine for piano master classes. And, <laughs> hello, hi. At that point in time, um, I realized that music was a language that you didn't need to be, it didn't matter where you lived, really. You could, or what language you spoke, uh, music drops all those barriers. And I was with my really good friend, Jillian Flanagan, and we went to a different part of Ukraine and all they spoke was Ukrainian. I don't even know if they had ever met any Canadians before. And we played a Pink Floyd song, Wish You Were Here. And the people, honest to goodness, um, they were left in tears from the power of music. And that's when I fell in love with music and found you. What is your favorite mobile app? When I went to Madame in the south of France, uh, I met uh, this incredible team from this company called Tract, T-R-A-C-K-D. And what it is, it's a collaborative songwriting space in the cloud. And it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can write music, you can find a, key, a keyboard player, guitar player, singer. And it's like GarageBand, but you just download the app for free from the iTunes store and away you go and you create music, so. <laughs> what is your favorite word? Favorite word. So one of the words that's resonated with me throughout um, the last few years of my life. Since I was little, I've always loved magic and hidden meanings, but serendipity is definitely a word that I feel would summarize my life. And I feel that once you start uh, following your path, you start to see moments you think might be coincidences, but they're serendipitous. Words of advice for aspiring artists. Okay. So here's a good one, and I'll tell you why. When you're a musician, you have to look at it as if you're an entrepreneur. You are a business person. You need to dedicate everything you've got. You need to focus. You need to be willing to forgo the party on the weekend because you're going to stay home and work on your accounting spreadsheets. Heaven forbid. Like, it's treacherous. There's some moments that are not fun. Um, but if it's really that emotion and that expression that's what's inside of you and it's your passion and you feel like it's what's driving you, you need to do it but realize that you have to look at it as a business, especially if you want to share and communicate with the rest of the world. So and that's why we're here, right? <laughs> so uh, this is the end. Thank you so much again to Fiona Bloom and the Efficacy Sessions. Make sure to subscribe and also check out my channel, April Eileen, A-P-R-Y-L-L-A-I-L-E-E-N. I'm gonna leave you off with a song called Home. Um, it's a new song I've been writing inspired by my friend Jessica Wen called Home, Bless Her Soul. She's an executive producer on it. And this is about spiritual growth and not being afraid to go into your pain and discover how you can renew yourself.
push myself to grow hit the wall found myself staring into so much for tuning in. Again, this is April Eileen with the Efficacy Sessions and be sure to subscribe. Have an awesome time. See you later.